Welcome back to Heads or Tails. We are with Claire Taylor, who's just flipped her way to a rather amazing quarter of a million pounds. How are you feeling, Claire? A little bit nervous. I'm not surprised. You're just one flip of this coin away from winning half a million pounds. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, Sarah, you turned down The Undertaker's offer of £7,000. Now, I really can feel a very positive energy here in the dead or undead crypt tonight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to Who Would Like to Win £100? <laughs> So, one day, eight boy rabbits met three girl rabbits in a rabbit hutch. Pretty soon, they were at it like rabbits, and before long, there were 24 baby rabbits. So, how many rabbits in the riddle? If you just joined us and you think you know the answer, pick up the phone and have a go. What do you reckon? The answer's there. All you have to do is add. Kill the French ambassador. You will kill the French ambassador. You must kill the French ambassador. The number of rabbits in the riddle. OK, we have a caller. Who's on the line? Amy. Hi, Amy. Where are you calling from? Streatham. OK, Amy from Streatham, what's your answer? 26. 26. Let's see if that's right. Oh, sorry, Amy, that's the wrong answer. Oh. Thanks for calling, though. Got any plans tonight? I'm going to kill the French ambassador. Good for you. Let's play Heads or Tails. <sighs> Claire Taylor, please tell me, is it heads or tails? I'm not sure. It could be heads. It could be heads. You're right, it could be heads. Yeah. Or it could be tails. Will you please choose your next numbered coffin? Yes, no. I choose coffin number six, which is Nigel. Cardinal blue shirt. Five days and he's worn a blue shirt every single day. <laughs> <laughs> How many blue shirts have you got, Nigel? Um, four, so I've, I've worn one already. I hope you've cleaned it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Cardinal Blue Shirt, please, would you open that coffin? Um, if anyone deserves this, it's Sarah. Yes. Right. Oh. Mm. Mm. Lovely and warm. Lovely and warm. That was your lucky blue shirt. We want more of those. We want more of those. Alf Mattox has already won a penny. Mr Mattox, are you ready for your next question? Uh, y y yes, sir. Very well. For tuppence, which city is the capital of France? Is it Berlin, Brussels, Paris, or Silly Town? Remember, Alf, two of your favours remain unused. Aye. Yes. In which case, I think I will poll the audience. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the studio audience, underneath your seats you shall find, as always, a ballot paper. Please consider your choice very carefully as you make your way over to the polling booths. Jake, Jake. Jake, that was absolutely amazing. Thanks. But let's hear what our judges think. That was awesome, Jake. <laughs> you, sir, you're going to go on the weekend. It's fantastic. Simon. Um, 
Jake. Interesting. Um, good choice of song. <laughs> but here's the thing. I think you're a <laughs> What do you want to do? I'll go 50-50. OK, computer, please take away two random wrong answers. That was really very helpful. I thought it was tails, but... I just had heads in my head. <laughs> I suppose you wouldn't have tails in your tail. <laughs> Even though your name is Claire Taylor. <laughs> Which is it going to be now? I'm going to choose Coffin 19, which is Catherine. Now, I want everybody to think positive. Think positive thoughts. I want everybody to think dead, 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 dead. Come on, dead, dead. 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 That's it. Dead. Come on, people at home, dead. on the sofa, dead. dead. Think positive. Dead, 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 dead. Catherine, would you open that coffin? Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, dear me! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh! Have a swig of tea. Well done. And we shall now take this opportunity to engage in a spot of light conversation. Alf, should you be fortunate enough to win £100, what would you spend it on? Oh. Well, I'd, I'd buy a new pair of boots, a suit of clothes and a dictionary, a leather bound mind, and maybe a top hat for occasions like. Well, if you were thinking of purchasing an item of headwear, might I suggest that you should consider investing in a thinking cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thinking cap. That'll help me get a few answers correct. Indeed. I myself. Maurice, that was absolutely fantastic. But what did our judges think? Sharon. Well, Morris, I thought first of all that that I didn't like the song. Oh, oh, no. But, 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 having said that, I thought you did a great yeah. performance. That's a great start, Morris. Simon. You really want to know what I think? Yeah! No. Really? Yeah! I think you're a <laughs> Okay, Claire, you can still ask the audience. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, audience, on your keypads, you'll find two options, heads or tails. Please press the one that you think is the right answer. You useless lot! Oh, you can't blame them, though. They don't look like the brightest audience. And let us now turn our attention to the blackboard, and it would seem that our studio audience have narrowed it down to two feasible possibilities. I think it's Paris, sir. Are you sure? Uh, I'm sure, sir. Are you quite sure? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm quite sure, sir. Are you very sure? I'm, I'm very sure, sir. Well, Mr. Maddox, I can tell you that Paris is the correct answer. <laughs> and viewers at home, you may be interested to learn that Silly Town is not a real town at all. That was just our little joke. <laughs> Silly town. The very thought of it. <laughs> so, David. 
Which hand does it in? Come on. I'm going to go for the left, please. David, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm an architect. An architect? And how long did you study to become an architect? Seven years. Seven years studying architecture, and they didn't teach you how to tell which hand it is in? Well, David, you are the weakest at telling which hand it is in. Goodbye. It's crunch time. What's it going to be? It's going to be heads or tails. I think I'm going to say heads. You sure? Yes. Final answer. Final answer, Chris. Don't go away, we'll be right back after the break. Fuck. Well, Your next question is for a shilling. Crikey. How are you feeling? Oh, I've got the right collie wobble, sir. <laughs> Shall we take a look at it? Yes, sir. Very well. For one shilling, at a dinner function, what must you not place upon the table? Your fingers, your elbows, a gravy boat, a candlestick. Oh. So, Elf, have you an inkling? Well, I've not been to any dinner functions before, so this will be a bit of a stab in the dark. And if it's not too much trouble, sir, I'd like to telegram an acquaintance. And to whom would you like the telegram addressed? Uh, to Henry Nicholson. Is Henry Nicholson a clever man? Cleverest man in my street, sir. To Henry Nicholson, stop. This is Sir Barnabas Montague, stop. I am accompanied by your good friend, Alf Mattox, stop. He has a question for you, stop. Right. Um, good evening, Henry. Stop. What should one not put on the table at dinner? Stop. Elbows or fingers? Uh, question mark. Best wishes, Alf. Stop. In the middle of nowhere, one island. Oh my God, it's so lush. It is so lush. Two weeks, 12 contestants. But only one can survive. Who is the cannibal? You at him! Take that back right now! Maybe it's me! You eat him up! Carve him up! Friends will be made. I think they look like a bunch of twats, to be honest. And friends will be eaten. Obviously, a bit worried about being consumed, but it's just part of the fun, isn't it? Who can they trust? Everyone is suspicious of everyone else. One of us here has eaten him. I ain't no cannibal at Hopkins Hannibal. I ain't no cannibal. I need a paracetamol. You know in a Tom and Jerry cartoon, when Tom looks at Jerry and he turns into a chicken? Well, that's how I feel when he looks at me. The tears. People are getting eaten, and I've got no makeup left. The heartache. We should remember him as he was, as a budding TV presenter. The laughter. <laughs> the confusion. What is a cannibal? You don't know what a cannibal is. Is it a clown? The horror. But would you stop doing that? It's really freaking me out. I want to get home now. It's not. It's so not lush. This year, they face the toughest challenges yet. I cannot believe that we failed the breakdancing task. There's one thing they say at Southampton University, you never, ever, ever, ever quit. She quiet. But only one can win the £7,000 prize. And this time, they're hungrier than ever. Who lives? Who dies? Rest in peace. Well, pieces. Find out on this year's Cannibal Island. Coming soon to BBC Four. Well, while we await a response to Alf's telegram, let us enjoy the soothing sounds of Perry Rogers. I'm going to kill myself if she says goodbye. I'm going to kill myself if she makes me cry. I'll slit my wrists or I'll cut my throat, but I'll kill myself, I'll kill myself, my bleeding on her door 
Skin. Welcome back to Heads or Tails. Now, Claire Taylor, you said heads. Final answer. Yes, Chris. Well, I can tell you that if you'd have said tails, you would have just lost half a million pounds. But I'm afraid it's not heads either, because it's an edge coin. That hardly ever happens. I'm so sorry, Claire. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause, please, for Claire Taylor. Isn't she a great contestant? Oh, Martin, Martin, that was, that was absolutely stunning. I'm, I'm in bits here, I really am. But what did the judges think? Martin, Martin. Um, you've surprised me. That was the best performance we've ever had on the show. I'd even go as far as to say that you have the best singing voice I've ever heard. You've done Wales proud, and more importantly, you've done yourself proud. However, you are a um, I th Thank you, Simon, but, uh, you know, I, I don't think the audience agree. Well, they wouldn't agree because they're Now, we are down to the last coffin. Number 13, unlucky for some. However, it could mean a life-changing amount of money, a huge amount of money. What are you gonna spend it on if you win? I've got a massive debt. Well, let's hope you can pay those off. Would you please open the remaining coffin, number 13. Sarah, it's been a wonderful week. You're a lovely girl. I really hope you do manage to pay off those massive debts. Good luck. You've got two top chefs, Michael Alfonso, two contestants, Julia and Peter. You've each had five pounds to spend. What are the ingredients? Uh, butter beans, trout. Great, and Alfonso. <laughs> haven't got time. Okay, off you go. Cook, cook, come on, cook, cook faster, faster. We haven't got any time. Hurry, hurry, come on. Okay, and stop. So tired. Alfonso, what have you made? Uh, That's great, a... Michael. You've Julia. What does it taste like? Well, it... Audience vote. <laughs> One of you won. Fantastic. That's all we got time. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Well, Teddy, thank you for that delightful tune. And we have now received a reply to Alf's telegram. Dear Alf, stop. Think it could be elbows. Stop. Not absolutely sure, though. Stop. Your friend, Henry Nicholson. Stop. Does that help you at all, Alf? Well, I thought it might be elbows. I think I'm going to have to consider this for quite a long time. Well, that sound tells us that, unfortunately, once again, we are under attack from Hitler's planes. We shall now all move down into the air raid shelter, and we advise you at home to do the same. God save the king, and remember, walls have ears. Good night, everybody. Good night.